Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to adjust clothing inside of Photoshop. But first, please check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more content. My friend Valerie Thomas recently sent me this photo because the client was asking if she could move the belt closer to her body. So let's begin by pressing Command or Control J on the keyboard. Let's zoom in with the Command or Control Plus. Press the space bar in order to just reposition this image. And when I first saw this, I thought, well, there are a variety of ways we could manage this. We could select it, move it over, mask it, but ultimately what I landed on was the liquify tool. So I'm going to press M on the keyboard in order to select my marquee tool. Now this step is actually not necessary. I'm going to click and just drag this area. So why am I doing it? Well, once I go into the liquify filter dialog box, Photoshop has to render everything that you've given it. If you give it the entire image, I promise you it is going to be significantly slower. If you give it just a portion of the image, it will perform much faster. In order to access that tool, we're going to press Command Shift X, that's Control Shift X on the PC. And if you're feeling overwhelmed with Photoshop, <laughs> I don't blame you because there's a lot to learn. Why don't you check out all of the resources we have available on our website at flourish.academy slash Photoshop. Let's begin by increasing the size of our brush with the right bracket key. Now you could do that with the size in the panel, but this is just a lot faster. And then I'm simply going to start clicking and dragging to the left. So essentially what I'm doing is pushing the pixels in. Now, if things are happening too quickly or you don't like it, make sure you check out your density and pressure. For instance, if I pull this density way up and the pressure way up, you'll notice it does things like that. I'm just going to press Command or Control Z to undo. If we take the pressure and the density down, and you can experiment with these individually, it's actually, I'm clicking and pushing, it's actually a lot harder <laughs> to push. So you wanna find something that's somewhere in between where you can push the pixels, but they don't go sliding off of your screen. Okay, so I'm just clicking and pushing this in, but do you notice what's happening? It's actually making the belt more narrow, and I don't know that I want that. So let's make this brush smaller with the left bracket key, and I'm just resizing the belt to make sure that it stays a similar width. I'm okay if it changes a little bit, but I just don't wanna take it too far. So again, I'm clicking and dragging to the left, essentially pushing these pixels, and I'm making sure that I'm trying to keep the integrity of the line, the seam. And I think that that's working pretty good. So let's come back out here and continue to push this in. It was essentially this top part that was troubling her. She wanted this knot to be smaller and closer to her frame. So again, I'm clicking and pushing, making adjustments as I go with the left and the right bracket key to adjust the size of my brush. It just takes a little bit of finesse to get used to using this tool, but it is very powerful. One reason that it's working really well on this particular image is because look at our background. It's just completely washed out. So we're not having to concern ourselves with the integrity of the pixels behind the belt, which is actually quite helpful. So I'm just continuing to click and drag. You don't want to get sloppy here. You don't want to make your brush really big and try to take larger brush strokes because it's, it's going to impact the look of the image. And let's go ahead and say okay to that to return the result. Press Command or Control D in order to deselect and just look at the before and after. 
And if you wanted to bring it in closer, you could, but I think that looks pretty good. You might not run across this specific issue, okay? But I promise you, there will be a time when you want to adjust something related to clothing in your image, and the Liquify tool is really powerful. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.